have to say for those out there who think, oh, they want to blame genetics. Like that's just yeah. they, without even trying, because you could arguably have said, look, my genetics, this, my genetics, that, but man, that's a look where, because of your mindset, what happened, right? Yeah. I, um, so that's quite funny actually, because in gymnastics, obviously I still had quite small legs compared to some of the other guys and growing up, my dad had always said, oh, it's just our genetics. Son. We, we can't grow big legs. He said, I've tried, I've squatted, I've done leg press, I've done all sorts over the years. We just can't do it. And that kind of, that got me going. And I was like, well, well, I've got to have big legs. I've, you got big arms. You might as well have big legs as well. But um, yeah, I mean, for me, it, it was just squatting over and over again. And it, it was that volume of training that I accumulated squatting three times a week um, for a long period of that. So, I mean, from the 2015 to the 2017 period, before I'd really transitioned to bodybuilding, I was, I was doing gymnastics a few times a week. But every time I went in the gym, I'd start with squats. Um, because I knew that that was the weakness that was the thing to build up and I did all sorts of you know strength programs on it where it was kind of lower vol like sort of lower reps lower volume high weight um, and then I sort of moved across and did more sort of German volume training and it really was a blend and I kind of think back to some of the sets that I was doing and some of the things I was doing it was I'd walk into the gym I'd see how much I could do with you know 100 kilos 40 reps until you literally can't hold the weight anymore and I think I remember one session, that was the only working set I did. And I did a little bit of what else I could muster and then went home. But I think that was the thing that for me made, made all the difference. And yeah, they, they were very small at the start, but I think that was just because I didn't train them. I didn't push them. So, so it's, it's not that I couldn't. Right. No, that's good. And that's important for, again, for the listeners, whether it's not just legs, whether it's maybe it's someone complaining about arms or shoulders or chest or back, whatever body part. It's like, have you tried, you know, it's like, have you tried, you know, the, um, Jeff Alberts has a great one who I'm sure you're familiar with yeah, on yeah. the podcast many times well, about the calves. Like, you know, people will blame that they, they have poor calves. They don't try. And then you see kind of gives like an example of, you know, how long it took and the, the work that was put in and before it start, you know, you blame genetics and just quit altogether. Right. So talk about your, like how you broke. So you did the squats thing, you hit them first, maybe break down like what your leg routine evolved into for you personally? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for a long time, um, I think I literally did just squats, um, no leg press or anything like that. It was just squats and it would be three or four working sets. Um, and you know, I've varied rep ranges and, and weights quite a bit, but for me, that was, that was always the primary exercise. It was always high bar sort of weightlifter style squat. Cause I learned to squat in a weightlifting gym. Um, so they it always had that kind of approach so it was always very sort of chest upright um, and for me because I've got short femurs it's it's quite easy for me to get into that position and put it through the quads yeah it it was three times a week it would be the first thing I did when I you know get into the gym I'd warm up I'd warm up with the bar I'd put a plate on and I'd squat and I'd you know keep going and going and at the start of it I was I was squatting up to I think it was like 100 120 kilos were my working sets and that was the weight I was working at um, and it got to the point where, where that was going up to 200. So, you know, it took a few years and it did not happen overnight. And I was celebrating each five kilos that I was putting on and, and finally hitting different PBs. But yeah, for me, that was, that was the primary mover. Leg extensions as well. You know, it's not going to be your main focus in a training session. And I mean, I use them more now than I did back then. Because back then it was just trying to build the size and it's that sort of meat and potatoes exercise just to focus on. But for me, that was, that was what it was all about. And you're doing that. You said three times a week you were hitting legs. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. And I'd, I do it, but it would only be sort of squats, leg extensions or squats and RDLs. Okay. And then I'd go into the other thing that I was training. So it might be a back session or a chest session because I knew that my legs were so far behind that if I did want to make the switch to bodybuilding, I'd have to bring that up considerably interesting and that was were those kind of would you call those kind of like a full body thing three four times a week you were training at the time or not even exactly was, that so it was still split it was mm. it was always just legs and then one other ah. one. so it was i'd train chest once or maybe twice a week but it was mainly just once for those muscle groups and then legs really got hammered with that and they you know they were sore a lot of the time and it was just about trying to recover to the next session and then just keep going and going. 